identify BIOS components. Before we go any further, we need to take care of fundamental vocabulary and understand what BIOS is and what its purpose is. The BIOS stands for Basic Input Output System and is officially called firmware and that firmware starts all of the hardware components inside your personal computer. And as you see at right, we have an open tower case and if you don't recognize any of the components there, now hang on, you will over time, you will see your skills improve as you work through this learning path. This particular case does not have a motherboard in it. It's empty on that side, but it's look like we have fans. We have a hard drive mounted, there's a power supply down there and a whole of bunch of accessory based up in the upper right. So when the computer turns on there in what's called a code boot, how does the system know what to boot from? Whether it's the it's the VD drive or one of many hard drives that may be attached to the system or I use PK. So BIOS is what presents those options to the user. By the way, firmware is sort of a weight point or an between point between hardware which is the stuff you can touch like in the picture the hard drive the power supply and software which is code that's run and performs some function or purpose well software you probably know you can install and you install just as easy on your computer or your smartphone or whatever firmware is sort that in that's encoded a hardware such that is more permanent and we're going to see that uh, with something as functional as a BIOS. You don't want that information to persist over time. Finally, a cool boot is where the computer is starting from completely off and the boot up process will generally take a little bit longer than if you do just say a restart. Because the first thing the BIOS does is perform a series of self-tests, call it the power on self-test or post. And that is where the BIOS firmware props out and makes sure that it understands how much RAM is there, whether there's a keyboard attached where the disks are, and which disk is marked for booting and so forth. Now, I said that uh, the basic input output system is software that's written to the CMOS chip, and it becomes firmware at that point. And you're probably wondering, what is CMOS stands for? Well, let's cover that next. Yeah.